Welcome back. Our next guest is living his circus dream, and he wants to encourage you to do the same. Bernardo Circus is back in town, folks. Joining me now, Kevin Bernardo, founder and ringmaster. Welcome back to the show, brother. Uh, it's great to see you, Curtis, man. Good to see you, man. This is, uh, this is exciting. Last year, I got a chance to be a part of the show. Um, yes, it was. <laughs> a small, small little part, small little part. It was awesome. You um, came down and you definitely had some very interesting moves we did before on one of those shows, but uh, <laughs> maybe we'll get you to come down to a St. Augustine again this year. Well, I, get, I got my five-month-old. We get the, Here's some pictures from, uh, <laughs> oh, there we go. There's me last year. Uh, I remember there was a huge bucket of confetti that, uh, yeah, you left, and of course we had to clean all that up. Well, your, your, your head clown uh, kind of was, I don't know, he, he, he and I didn't see eye to eye on some stuff. And um, well, this is, Clowns are this way, though. Clown, they're also the, the pegs upon which the circus is hung. Uh, the most important part, don't tell the other performers this, or I just have to remind myself, this is true, that people want to laugh. And anyways, uh, they were delighted by you. I was thrilled to have you there, and I'm actually, this is now the fourth time I've been here on yeah. the first Coast Living. So the, the show, Bernardo's, Bernardo Circus, this is this has been your dream since your child. You were actually a Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey's ringmaster for several yeah. years, right? Yes. Well, I, it was a dream I never had as a kid that that came true. Uh, I loved the singing and dancing, and I I studied theater, and then I but hundreds or thousands of other people do the same thing. I just happened to be in New York, and I got a job at the Ringling Brothers Circus when I was 22, and that took life off in a totally different direction. Where I thought it was just extraordinary. I I found that I'm I enjoy being myself more than trying to be someone else. Yep. I think that quest of having the courage to just be who you are is, is something that resonates so much. And uh, I think that we are, you know, if you can accomplish something great, you have to start by saying something that sounds so big that uh, other people maybe are gonna laugh at you or maybe even laugh at your own self. Like, how is that real? How am I gonna make a real circus happen? It's, uh, this is, and you use words like America and, uh, and generations and and tradition and sometimes it's a, a high bar you feel like you're up against but all you got to do is get out there and keep believing and keep doing it every day and dealing with all the challenges and and one after another we keep going to these different cities all across the country and we keep meeting people who love the circus and you started this this is this is a great show i went last year again this is this is uh, this is the circus from uh, your childhood. This is the circus as you know, like a very intimate experience because the stage and it's a tent. It'll be in St. Augustine Amphitheater parking yes, lot, it right? Yes, it is. It is. And it's a red and white classic circus tent. Yes. And the stage is what twenty by sixteen. Twenty by sixteen, and so there's chair seating all around it. So everyone right in the house, it. no one's more than like thirty feet away from the the stage, which means this incredible performers are right there in front of you. And they're also the people that you've met taking your ticket as you walk yeah. in. They're the ones who are ushering you to your seat. We have some of them. Yeah, we, we actually do. We have some of them here and you brought with you. In, in the studio right now. The only place we could fit them is in the studio next, uh, right, right next to us, our green screen. Yes. So let's, let's show them right now. We got this a little performance is, uh, from them. Christian Popa and his lovely wife, Jessica, and their son, Bogdan. It doesn't even fit in the screen. This is a perch act. And we've you know, modified this. Uh, he can actually go up to 42 feet with this thing. But Jessica is climbing up this that's pole. His, that's this his pole. wife. That is his wife. This yeah. is not, there's no safety lines on this right now at all. Uh, she's climbing up and he is balancing this whole apparatus on his shoulders. Demonstrating true trust in a relationship. Yes, or absolute lunacy. <laughs> it is, uh, but this is a routine that they've worked on for, for many years. He is uh, from Romania, she from Mexico. She's she's hanging in a, uh, he's supporting the entire thing in the shoulders there. Everything. She's hanging in a neck loop, right? Yes, and in a moment she's gonna do uh, a little twisty trick here. She's first gonna do this little hang here. This and they, this family has been, uh, he said he's, what, what, third generation? Yes, indeed. And like I said, from Romania. And uh, one of the most extraordinary things I've had the chance to be around people is an international cast of people. And uh, I'm, I'm, I feel a pride. After working on bringing all these shows across the country, seeing people uh, for years and years oh and years, feeling like you're carrying on a tradition. So much of that tradition has been made possible by people from all around the oh, world. That is the next spin. That yes. has to be how it, And he's navigating is, all of whoa, the wiggles. Whoa, it moved. Uh, yes, this thing is extreme. It moved. She's not uh, <laughs> she's not adding a lot of weight to this thing, but that structure, that metal frame there is uh, is very heavy. 
And then their son is involved in this. Yes, their son actually does on a different apparatus, another perch pole. Uh, he climbs up while it's on his father's shoulders and he gets up on the very top of it. There and he does... is, he's right behind Pops yes. there. And Show he... yourself there. Yeah. And so th their whole family <laughs> performs. He, he gets up there and performs seven yes. years old. He's been doing it since he was five. It's absolutely extraordinary. Look at his smile. And that is uh, that Christian is a small taste. And Jessica and Bogdan. And yes, he's going to help navigate bringing this giant pole down to a rest. That's just a small there they taste. Are. This is the Bogdan couldn't... troop. I'm so proud of them. I'm so delighted to have them. And they do this act and multiple other tricks that you have not yet seen. Uh, she, the husband and wife, also perform on a double trapeze. So he hangs from awesome. his legs and flips her, does all kinds of amazing stuff. And it's just uh, one part of a larger production with all new music and uh, at the Amphitheater through the 27th. Congratulations. St. Augustine Amphitheater <laughs> through the 27th. Check out Bernardo Circus in person now through January 27th at the St. Augustine Amphitheater. Buy your tickets online at bernardoscircus.com. I, I promise you it is an amazing show and you'll have a blast.